What's opening this week brought to you by our friends at AMC Theatres. Now, if you remember, on Tuesday we talked about one of the films opening wide, which is the new Robert De Niro and Hathaway film, The Intern. But there's two other films opening wide this week, so Ashley, tell us about them. First up is The Green Inferno. In The Green Inferno, a group of college students take their humanitarian protest from New York to the Amazon jungle, only to be taken prisoner by the indigenous tribe they came to save. The Green Inferno marks Eli Roth's return to directing for the big screen for the first time since his hostile franchise and tells the story of what happens when slacktivism, the well-meaning social media response to global catastrophes, turns into terror in the depths of the Amazon rainforest. (laughs) Next is the animated sequel Hotel Transylvania 2. Now that Dracula, Adam Sandler, has opened the Hotel Transylvania's doors to humans, things are changing for the better. However, Drac is secretly worried that his half-human grandson, Dennis, isn't showing his vampire side. (laughs) So, while Mavis and Johnny are away, Drac enlists his friends to help him put the boy through a monster and training boot camp. But things get really baddie when Drac's cantankerous old-school dad, Mel Brooks, pays an unexpected visit. John, are you looking forward to either of these new films? As a matter of fact, and shockingly enough, I'm actually looking forward to both of them. I've been looking forward to Green Inferno for a long time. Remember, this film was supposed to come out last year. Um, and it, it, then it found a house at the perfect place at Blumhouse. And so that's coming out now. I'm looking for it. We talked about that one promotional clip from the movie that they put out, where it was just the, eye get, the guy getting his eye gouged right, right. out. And it's like, that's not the right clip to put out because it doesn't get you away from that image that Eli Roth started to develop, that he's just torture porn. And I think this movie is going to be more than that. So at least I'm hoping it is. So I am looking forward to seeing that. And I, while I did not hate the original Hotel Transylvania, I think uh, more people liked it than I, than I think surprised a lot of people. And I didn't hate it. But I certainly wasn't looking forward to Hotel Transylvania 2. But I had to admit, when that trailer came out, that fu- the first full trailer for it, I was smiling and grinning through most of it. And when Mel Brooks... Mm. comes into it. It's like, okay, I was already kind of leaning towards liking this trailer, and now you kind of got me. So I actually find myself kind of looking forward to going to seeing it when it comes out. Anyway, Josh, what about you? you looking forward to either one of these? Uh, well, you know, Blumhouse just released a visit, and I feel like I might have been in a minority of people that actually enjoyed it, but I get scared by just about anything. Uh, and, you know, I really... Since the third grade, they've been telling us, oh, the rainforest, rainforest. Don't go to the rainforest. <laughs> Don't do it. Because uh, this is the kind of stuff that happens. For me, and I said it off, off camera, this is Adam Sandler at his best when he's an animated character doing the voices. You know, we've created a little ginger kid that if it's successful, a Halloween costume for days. And by know? the way, the other people didn't know this actually did model that kid after Dennis Zen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's crazy. It's one, of, one of the lines. Especially the hair. One of the lines was, damn it, Dennis, but they cut it. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they couldn't put it in the trailer. No. <laughs> but I think... Uh, I, I won't see Green Inferno until it's on DVD or on You'll never TV. See it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do well with horse. Man. I, I, I'm not that good. Unless I'm forced to go see it. No, thank you. I'm good. I won't even go in the woods. But Hotel Transylvania does look a lot of fun. Like a lot of fun. Um, I have seen Hotel Transylvania too. I just cannot talk about it yet because there's still an embargo on it. And right. I will say that that's not necessarily a bad thing for this one. I know even though it's coming out on Friday, that that's all I can say. That it's, that's not a bad thing. for. I don't know why the embargo is, but... Yeah. Whatever. As far as anticipating it, I was going into the first Hotel Transylvania with Adam Sandler fatigue, like everybody else has, like no matter what he does. And, and again, he's one of the nicer guys in Hollywood. Everyone raves about him. I've actually met the, the man. He's a super nice guy, but his movies have been garbage. Um, <laughs> but Hotel, yeah. Transyl- Hotel Transylvania, one, surprised me because it did have that good mix of what a great animation film can do. It's not, an, not a, I don't use the word great, but, but a good animation film can play to the, to the kids and can play to the adults to where the jokes will go over the kids' heads and it's, oh, okay, that, that one was for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe that this one's going to do a lot of the same. It might have a lot of the same beats. We'll see. Um, but I still think it's going to have a nice family feel. I don't care about Green Inferno. Um, <laughs> now, that's not, I'm just not a huge Eli Roth fan. I know that he has a big audience. And I know that a lot of people are super excited. I know that you're one of those people. John Schnepp's one of those people. And I'm glad. And I'm glad that it found the the home because it, it, it it's it's always a shame when a filmmaker puts their heart and their soul into a movie and then and it wasn't because it they couldn't they, they just it was 
they were well, worried about it. Well, it got caught in all it. the drama of relativity politics. media. It was like, all politics. And the, the company was going bankrupt, and there's yeah. so much drama going all on All that stuff, there. and then the film was the one that's going to sacrifice. I don't like to yeah. see that happen, especially when they when the fi filmmaker really believes in it. This wasn't a Fantastic Four situation. Like Eli Roth wants this movie <laughs> to come out. Yeah. Um, so it, it, I hope people love it. 